hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl kabira back with another video and my name is not kabira y'all it's kabira so it's not life is byra it's life is Bira because i've heard people say my name and i'm just like no baby let me tell you how you really say but today this video is sponsored by trinkets it's a bracelet company it's black owned it's not really known and they reached out to me asking me to promote their bracelets and give them a little bit more shine so that's what i'm gonna do y'all and i truly honestly do like these bracelets when i was when i seen the email and um they told me what like what they do and i had seen the bracelets i was like this is really cute and unique like i've never seen no other bracelet company do this because everybody usually use like the same thing all the time but this bracelets are really cute i'm about to show y'all I was too excited, so I already opened the package up. I already opened the package up, and it basically came with my name. It said, thank you. I said, it says, hi, Kavira. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. It comes in like a little Chinese little thingy. It's cute. It's really different. This is their name. Trinkets. And they gave me three. They don't have gold bracelets. It really made me sad that they don't have gold bracelets because I like gold. <laughs> yeah, I really feel cute right now. Like I really look cute. This is the first time I got cute since I got this hairstyle. And this is basically the bracelets. It's black faces on them with different hairstyles. So this first one is basically her hair straightened. This is so different and cute. The second one is another female with a bun. And the third one is her in her natural state with an afro. And I think this one has to be my favorite. But y'all, this is really cute and different. And every single bracelet has like a heart on the side too that says their name, which is Trinkets. So if you're interested in getting these bracelets, which I think you should because they're black owned and every black owned company needs recognition so if you're interested get that i'm gonna leave everything in the description box for y'all and we're gonna get right into the mother video if you're ready to see how i transform from looking like this to this keep watching the video as you can see by the title we're gonna get started into the video right now um, I know y'all gonna ask, my hair is from getmadebymimi.com, so I'm gonna start the video off, letting y'all know where everything is from, because y'all always ask me the same questions all the freaking time. My hair is from getmadebymimi.com, I have her information, her Instagram page, all that is gonna be right here. This necklace, this African pendant necklace is from Amazon, y'all. This is from Amazon. It might not look like it, yeah, it do look great for Amazon. I'm not gonna tell you how much it costs, so you do your own research, but this necklace is from Amazon. This one is from AliExpress, my birthday year. Um, Cause a lot of people always ask me where I get this necklace from. But other than that, we're gonna get right into the video. Um, Today, basically, I just wanna talk to y'all where I get ready and get cute, just to go nowhere. Probably get on TikTok <laughs> or Instagram, post some cute pictures. This pimple, it's the pimple for me. It's the pimple for me because this pimple ain't working, but I'm still a baby, so it's okay. I'm still a baby, so it's okay. It's giving 30. Okay, so today I'm going to get ready, do my eyebrows or whatever, and talk to y'all basically about, like, what it's like being a small YouTuber, what it's like gaining subscribers, and, like, starting to work with hair companies and other companies. It's like, and, like, the agreements you guys make once you want to, like, I'm going to let y'all know all them details. And I'm also actually helping you guys out for any small YouTubers. I'm still a small YouTuber myself. Any smaller YouTubers who's trying to come up and start working with hair companies or other any companies that's reaching out to y'all. I'm going to let y'all know the real details. And I'm going to also give y'all some advice when agreeing to work with these companies. Okay, so my mirror is like right there. So I'm going to be looking up because I need to do my eyebrows. But basically, um, shoot, I need to pin my hair back. But basically, y'all, uh, when you're a small, when you're a smaller YouTuber, my advice to you is, don't let companies take advantage of you, just to get free things. Cause once you do that, you're gonna realize like, you're helping 
these brands get more sales but it's not doing anything for you what i'm basically trying to say is if the brands are not trying to pay you it's important to not work with them because imagine if you're promoting their stuff you're getting them sales but there's no commission it's literally pointless get that bread get that hair then leave peace out. um don't let them keep trying to don't let them keep trying to convince you to work with them if they're not paying you because if you're promoting this stuff you're getting them sales but they're not paying you the promotion is pointless okay boom that one little item they gave you that one wig they gave you if they're not coming back and giving you more then clearly you don't need to be working with them no more especially if you're making them sales and they haven't reached back to you it's like a waste of money like and a waste of time I say this because I recently worked with this hair company. My sister told me not to mention their name. Because if you asked me, I was going to mention their name. But I recently worked with this hair company where they asked me to. They send me hair. They send me their requirements and everything. They asked me to promote their hair. Okay, boom, no problem. I've worked with a couple of hair companies now. Not too many, but I work with enough to like know like the requirements of when you're promoting hair. So they specifically told me do a hair tutorial installing a wig. Do six Instagram posts. I wasn't sure if they meant by story or Instagram. And I just wanna say don't nobody wanna post a, a picture in the same freaking hairstyle six times. But I'm going to get to what I'm saying for that part. They said six Instagram posts include their name or their um, brand in the title. Okay, understandable. Everybody does that. Whoever do hair videos, you understand. Like, okay, you want your hair to get promoted. Boom, I understand that. So, so I was like, okay, I agree with your terms. Da -da -da. We agreed to whatever wig I wanted. They gave me the wig. Wig finally came. So yeah, I started customizing the wig myself because when I do wigs, I'm not the type that just put on a wig how they gave it to me. Because when it comes to my hair, I'm very specific. Like if you know me personally, or if you just know me by watching YouTube, my hair always looks nice, looks decent. Like I'm not going nowhere with my hair looking a mess because that's just not me. Like when it comes to my hair, I do not play. I do not play when it comes to my hair because I be going on people who maybe looking a mess. I'm not even about to lie, but so they basically i was i started customizing the hair and i didn't like how the lace was like i didn't like what the lace was giving me i didn't like the teeth that the lace was giving me so i gave it a day came back later attempted to customize the wig again so i told my sisters i said i think i'm about to um email this company I let them know that I don't want to work with them. I'm actually doing pretty good with this chit chat and doing my eyebrows. Because y'all, any other time I try to do this, it didn't work out. But I think it's because my eyebrows are actually done. By the way, I did my own eyebrows. Purr. But, um, I was like, I think I'm about to email this company and let them know, like, I don't like the hair. And I'm not about to promote this hair because that's, like, false advertisement. And I'm not about to sit here and have my subscribers thinking, like, the hair is so bomb. When it's not, if you put two and two together, you know what company I'm talking about. But I'm still not going to say no names just because I'm not the type of person who who likes to put somebody else's work down. Like, everybody has to come up. Everybody has to progress their whole way. Like, and it, you're not going to always start off bomb. People who start off bomb, that's like a blessing for them. But like, you're not always going to start off bomb. So I'm not going to put them, put them out there. But like, if you if you could use put two and two together, you know what I'm talking about. Then you know what I'm talking about. So I emailed the company, came polite. If I can, I'm gonna put a screenshot of how I said what I said to the the company. And basically they replied like two days later. I think it was two days later. Yeah, they replied like two days later and said, 
why don't I like the hair? That's the hair I chose. Oh, duh, that's the hair I chose. Was I gonna know the quality of the hair? Did, was I gonna know how the hair was? Like, no. Mind you, I also, I also approved this hair company to work with them because the hair company isn't well known because we all know the big YouTubers always the big youtubers always use hair company the same hair companies all the time so i'm like how are we really going to know differences between other hair companies if y'all going to all keep using the same hair hair company so i was like all right i'm gonna get this hair company a try i've never heard of it mind you i didn't research them up until after i approved them which i felt like that's where i went wrong at. i should have researched them up didn't approve them but i'm just like everybody deserves it everybody deserves to shine everybody deserves recognition to what they're trying to promote like so i was just like all right i'm gonna work with them so damn i just got endless pencil shaving on my head so i was like all right i'm gonna work with them so i i researched their hair up i didn't really get many people hair reviews like when i searched them up it was like a year ago two years ago three months ago three months ago was close to now but like two years ago one year ago six months ago 12 months ago like it was stuff like that and i'm just like i don't know if that's gonna give me enough tea like what's really real so i gave up researching and I, when i uh when i emailed a company sorry i'm going back and forth with this but when i emailed the company they basically were just basically saying like that's what i chose why don't i like it like basically i'm supposed to like it just because i chose the hair no i'm not just because I chose the hair does not mean I'm supposed to like it. Like everybody, everybody gotta try something new to know what they like. Deal. So, so they basically was telling me like I basically still have to make the video being this though. Like they sent me the hair already, and I was like, can y'all send me another wig? Like I wasn't gonna return the one that I that I started off on. Um. So I asked them to send me another wig, and they basically was like, they're not sending me another wig. I need to work with what I got and so I finally made the hair video if you watch my hair videos you notice that I never really jazz up hair how some bigger youtubers do that's one thing about big youtubers who and never trust never trust a youtuber who only does hair reviews and consistently says something positive about every hair every hair is not bomb and i will not be one of them youtubers who's gonna sit here and keep consistently posting fake advertisement like it's just not gonna be me i'm not gonna be one of those it's not gonna be me like sorry not sorry like don't never trust no youtuber who consistently do hair, hair reviews because they be lying when they be saying this bomb that's bomb no they be lying if you don't notice me, like when I make hair videos, I never really say, oh, the hair is bomb. I love it. Da -da -da. Hold on. The only company, y'all. Did y'all see me jazzing is Get Made by Mother Effin Mimi. And y'all know why? Because that's a company where I always get my hair from. I know the quality, the real quality from wearing it multiple times, not just off one hair review, off one day. I know the real quality. And that's the only company I just, if I post a hair review and I tell y'all, this hair feels nice, it feels bomb. I mean it. Some people really be sitting here lying. And I really hate to see it. And that's what's crazy because so many people know YouTubers as so many people know YouTubers as basically faking their reviews. And I just want y'all to realize not every YouTuber is like that because I'm just not gonna be one of those people. Like I'm just not going to be like, I don't care who wants to argue. I most likely probably won't even argue with you, but like, I'm literally not about to be one of those. Like, I refuse. I'm not. I did a view, the hair review, and 
the hair I feel like what I'm about to start doing now is if I continue to choose to work with hair companies because I was just talking to my co-worker also and she was like I don't think you should stop working with hair companies because of one situation she think I should continue with one because eventually I'm gonna get the companies where they really be in good hair and I was like that's true and it's fun getting free hair and free wigs but I feel like I should start making my hair videos and after making my hair videos I should um my eyebrows are like up they're like I like it but I don't know how I feel like it's like bringing like my face I don't know but like I feel like I'm gonna start making hair videos me installing it and then Kevin will come back a couple of days later to give y'all the real review because that's the only way you really gonna know if you really like a hair like I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you every hair feels bomb when you first get it you gotta know the real deal after a while you're not gonna know the real deal when you first take hair out the package like every hair feels good out the package literally and so a couple days later i wore the hair for two days three days two days three days all right three days it was three days i wore the hair for three days and like when i wear hair like for instance this hair right here it never sticks up or get poofy that hair was getting poofy and i didn't like nothing about it like i hated everything about it I kept the hair in for like two days. It didn't give what I really wanted to, to give. Like, it didn't give that. And so, I just decided to take the hair out and do like, put Get Made by Mimi back in my hair because that's what I really like. I have a couple more other hair companies that I will be working with, but from now on, I'm really about to start just giving y'all reviews in more than one day. It can't just be from that install. That's not a real review. You gotta know what it feels like a couple days later. What it looks like a couple days later. Will the curls stay in your head? You can always, you can always tell if the curls will stay in your head from wearing it in one day. Because clearly if you curl your hair and by the end of the day, the curls look a freaking mess and they look a freaking mess. My ring just flew off, but... I'm gonna come back to y'all when I completely finish my eyebrows and I'm gonna finish telling y'all. Talk to y'all or whatever. Okay, I'm back. And I'm not saying, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying every hair is gonna be bomb. But I'm just saying, when you promote hair, it's important to really promote how you feel. Lying all the time. And only let, doing what benefits you. But you have people out here supporting you. But you're out there setting them up. It's not cool. I feel like you promoting hair. And there, it's not really good hair. But you're promoting to your subscribers. It's really like a setup. Because if your subscribers is really going to come. And buy the hair that you're promoting. But it's really not good. Then what good is it really doing for them? Like for real. And I just want to say to all the smaller YouTubers including myself don't allow these companies to keep bribing you to give you free stuff but not try to give you some percentage of the commission like you're not about to be making money off me and i don't be included into your your payments like that's not that's what it's not about to be and i won't even sit here and lie to y'all I had to realize that on my own because I started realizing, yeah, I'm getting free stuff. Ha, ha, ha. That's so fun to get free stuff. But when I'm actually making sales for y'all, but you ain't reached back to me, what is it really doing for you? And I also feel like when you work with hair companies or any company, period, always make sure you ask for a discount code. If you don't ask for a discount code, how are they going to know who's really making the sales and how are they making the sales? Ain't nobody about to buy nothing and really, unless they really, they really F with you like that. Nobody's not about to sit here and say, oh, da 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 sent me. Most people will rely on watch your stuff, buy what you promote, but never give you credit for them, for that's where they got it from. Like, that's why it's important to ask for a discount code because the company will be able to know how many people are using the code and if it's really making it money 
but if you're not using that if you don't have a discount code like for example the first hair company i ever worked with hold on like for example the first hair company i ever worked with y'all it was um i think it was jaja beauty's hair it was the curly hair everybody remember that video because that was the first um review i did and y'all that hair was bomb the hair was bomb like it was really good i haven't worn since i did a review because like i literally switch my hair up too often i hate when the glue does this to my eye. I never let the glue dry all the way, and I be mad when the glue keeps sticking to my eye, but I never want the glue to dry all the way. That hair was bomb, and I won't sit here and lie to y'all. It was an Amazon Prime hair company. I didn't have no discount code, no nothing. Do you know how many people DM me, not only from YouTube, but on my regular social media, and was like, girl, you just made me go buy this wig. This wig look good on you. You just inspired me to try it. Like, I love things like that. I love when I'm able to put people on. And, y'all, I got no commission from that hair company. So many people got that hair from me. Like, they was they found the, a good, nice, cheap wig. It was cheap, too. And it was good quality. But I got nothing back from that because I didn't get no discount code nothing but i still was able to get them sales that's what i'm saying like if you're a small youtuber don't keep letting them send you free stuff without a discount code or without agreement to get paid for it when it comes to small business owners if they send me free stuff they ask me to promote it boom that's different because they're still trying to come up but the big companies that be trying to send you free stuff but don't want to add commission to it you can miss me with that i'm no longer about to keep approving people to work with them if they're not about to pay me like it's not it's not it not it at all like no sweetie that's not how things work i don't like how this lash look let me fix it off camera i'll be back y'all i'm about to I don't know if I want to flat iron my hair or not because. Oh no, I'm not even done my face. What am I doing? I gotta put on highlight, lip gloss. But yeah, y'all, I really don't want y'all sitting here inspired to do YouTube, ready to work with companies, and the company's trying to play with you because you're a smaller YouTuber. Don't get me wrong, I watch a couple big YouTubers, yes, I'm putting my highlight on with my finger. Because the, the highlight brush I use is dirty and my face is already breaking out. Don't get me wrong, y'all. There's big YouTubers who've made similar posts like this and tell me, like, they'll try to send them free stuff. Well, told their subscribers, they'll try to send them, send them free stuff. But don't try to pay them. And, like, they really be out here trying to take advantage. And I feel like it's different when you ask the company to work with them versus when they ask you to work with them. For my lip combo, I use the same pencil that I use for my eyebrow. Don't call me dirty, just try it. When I put lip liner on, I let's be ashy as hell. I hate putting too much on though. And I hate when people put lip liner on and don't and don't blend it in their lip. Just let it sit like that. Like that's so freaking ugly if you ask me. I think I should plug up this flat iron. I want my hair to be a bound straight. Not regular straight, but a bound straight. Y'all ring light really be making you hot. Like the light really be bright. And I'm sitting on I'm sitting on my like baby, it's giving 30 inches. But I go in with this butter gloss. I use number 17. I don't want, I don't know what to title this video. Chit chat, get ready with me. 
and then put in hashtags, things I was talking about. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna name it a chit chat, get rid of me. My lashes is from Amazon too, y'all. Cause I know y'all gonna ask. Y'all ask everything, but I add a couple coats of this. A little bit of clear lip gloss. And now I'm gonna take this is kind of cute like this. So let me put on a cute, a cute little oh shit, y'all seen that. I know y'all seen that. I'm gonna put on a cute little shirt or whatever. What is it? Okay, so I got on this pink set that I got from Shein. I'm going to show y'all the full thing when I'm done getting ready. I kind of like these little clips like this. Like, it's kind of cute, but um, I'm going to just take these clips out and um, do my hair how I usually do it. Let's see. But yeah, y'all. More of the story. I don't want y'all to settle for less. As you're coming up, stand on, stand on what you want. Always stand on what you want because people be out here taking advantage of people who's coming up versus the people who's already up. Especially nowadays. And also, don't approve every business that emails you y'all every business is not legit anybody can make a gmail and make a similar name as any company and be like they want to send you stuff just to get your information and do other things with it because y'all this jury company crazy because the jury company that um reached out to me i've actually ordered something on my own from them like two years ago and so they reached out to me one to work with me and I approved them. But now I'm scared because somebody else just emailed me saying that they were that company too. So now I'm like, did I just give like a fake company my information? Or is this company that's emailing me now fake? Like, I didn't know what to believe. That's why I'm like... Don't always approve every business either because, like, you don't need everything. You don't... Not everything that's handed to you, you need it, literally. Like, you don't need everything. That's why I'm like, don't approve every company either because it's like, now I'm scared. Is it real? Like, are they really legit or which one is true? That's my question. Like, that's, that's the question that I have for them now. I actually have to stand up to do this because this hair is too long. That's the question that I now have, like, for the company. Like, are y'all legit? Like, I know they're legit because I ordered from them, but, like, which company is really legit? Like, that's the question that I have now. Like, what should I believe? And now it's making me nervous. But the rest of this video, I think I'm done talking. The rest of this video, I'm just going to get ready. Y'all can watch me get cute or whatever. And y'all, one thing about me, I'ma do my hair. If my hair looking a mess, I don't feel like doing it. I'm having a bad day, which made me not do it. Or well, I don't know what else to tell you, cause those those the, those the two top reasons why my hair would look a mess. But other than that, y'all, I would really do my hair every day if I have to. Who walking around with their hair looking a mess? Like, not me. Baby, because it don't give. This pink on me is really cute. I'm about to take some pictures. I'm really about to put this outfit on in the house, take pictures. And I'm not going to wear. I probably would never wear this outfit out the house anyway. But y'all, my hair really I look bomb. I love everything about it. I like this side of my edges better. Yeah. And y'all, this is the same hair. Y'all remember the hair that I had in a half up, half down? If you were a true subscriber, or if you found me from watching my Shein haul when I had this half up, half down, this is the same hair, baby. 
and it's still wrong. What are you trying to post for thumbnail? so cute hopefully these pictures come out cute too this is a get ready with me get ready with me chit chat chit chat get ready with me y'all gonna see the title whenever i post this i low-key think i want to put them clips back in though i think that was kind of cute Black Barbie, Black Barbie, B -b -b Black Barbie, Black Barbie. I need to clean my room though before I take these pictures. Okay, y'all, I'll be back when I'm fully done. Okay, y'all, so I'm done and I am dressed to take my pink chairs. Them pictures better come out bomb because I look bomb. I think I'm gonna put them on both sides. I really liked it when I did that. I'm gonna flip the camera too so y'all can see like. I'm gonna flip the camera too so y'all can see like um the full outfit. Hopefully my room ain't too wild looking. If it is, y'all gonna have to just follow me on Instagram so you can see my pictures. I'm not gonna drop them pictures on here either because like y'all need to follow me if y'all want to see the end of results and keep up with me outside of YouTube. Follow me on my in Instagram. Nah. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna do one side. Yeah, I'm gonna do one side. Oh, I look cute. Don't play with me. That was crazy. I recorded a get ready with me. Um, when I had my half up, half down hairstyle, because everybody was asking, like, details on the hair it's still the same hair but y'all my ponytail was leaning so i was like nah and you know when you record off your phone because i record off my phone you know when you record off your phone it flips the camera like the opposite way versus what you're actually looking at right now and my ponytail was leaning and it didn't look like it was in the middle i said uh, -uh. i said this don't give i said this do not give so i would not be posting this video because i could have had some up for y'all way long ago this is what it's looking like it's the outfit. I don't really do crop tops. That's why I probably would never like wear this out the house. But like, it's the outfit. Yeah, I'm about to go take my pictures. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want any more chit chat, get ready with me about other topics. Let me know, baby, because I'll be quick to talk my trash. Bye. Work, 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 work.